Dude, we're going straight mullet. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Back by popular demand, we've got another ponytail haircut. And just, I'm gonna explain everything all the way through as to why I'm doing it, is so we can look at it a bit more technically. But these haircuts seem to be going a little bit crazy at the minute. I know a lot of TikTokers are doing it themselves. Some mulletness going on here. But I wanted to grab that audience and then bring them back over to the professional side and help them understand if they went to a hair salon, the result would be so much better. Like that going on, that little, that tail. It's all about the tail, people. So yeah, let's get into it. This is gonna be a mullet. So I've already done a mullet. I did a mullet in minutes, and I think it was three sections. This one's four sections. There's one right at the front here, which is gonna be cut really short. So there's a real short fringe just here. These are on the sides and it is over directed from the top down to here so I'm gonna cut this really tight so we lose a lot of this length at the side. I've got one at the back just there which is just gonna be cut off, I'll show you. It's gonna be cut off straight across there and it's gonna ha have that sort of mullet uh, texture through the back but maintaining the length. So, let's get into it. Super quick, super easy, mullet in minutes again but just a little bit different. Let's just have a look at the sectioning pattern. So I've just done nice and simple from the high point of the head through to there, a little V at the front. This is going to be the fringe and then a big section at the back there. This just here, we're going to cut right off there. So we've got a real textured fringe, something really tight, but because we're moving from here to there and there to there and there to there, we know that we're going to maintain length around here, around here, and then a bit of length over the top because of where the hair is traveling to. On the sides, the mullet-esque part of the haircut, the short part of the haircut that we want to see, which is why I've gone really tight into here and we're traveling this hair from here all the way down to here because this is going to be longer and I'm going to go shorter into here. The only difference with today's haircut to the other ones I've done where I haven't really done anything extra uh, refining as such is I'm going to take this off shorter, just scissor over comb, just to take it off tighter into there to give it a real mullet-esque look. But you can see that hair is traveling to there. So we're going to maintain this length here so it will blend in through the back. This is going to be shorter so we can blend in. This is traveling to here so that'll be longer to blend in through there. But I will be taking this off through this side a little bit more. Same on the other side. And then on this back section, we're just going to cut off here and we know we're going to maintain the layers there. In the middle, they'll be shorter, so it'll give us a little bit of scaffolding to hold the hair up to make it a bit more textured or lived in. But because the hair's traveling from here up to here, we know we're going to maintain some of the length. But I'm not going to go too short. I'm not going to go right to the pony on this. I'm probably going to leave it about two inches just so we can have the length, because that is what we need with the mullet. We need the length. So let's get into the haircut. So let's start with the fringe. And I want the fringe to be really short. I want this to be a really graphic mullet look. So, just get in position. Top of the ponytail, just there. Taking all that off. And like I said before, we, we keep these because we're gonna, we can do strand tests and color tests and everything like that. So these are great to keep. Look how short that is. And with the sides, both sides, I'm gonna take it right to that pony. So just make sure I don't cut the tape. Like so. And then again on this side, holding it out. They are equal both sides. There we go. And on this back section, I want to maintain some of the length, but add a bit of layer. So we will go from the center point of the ponytail, we'll go half a cone, which is straight to there. Do 
do. Put hair in the comb like that. And then just texturise in that ponytail that we've, we've cut. Just loosen it all up a little bit. You've seen in, in other videos that I do this because you can see how hard ponytail will sit. But just doing a deep point cut is similar to when we, we bring the hair up in, in sections, but this is just all kept together like that. So then we've got one, two, three, four ponytails. So let's take out that one there. You can see the mullet there, but I'm just going to take off this here, through there, through there, and then through this back one. And look, we've got that length. We've kept that length in there. Just going to shake it out. There we go. That is a mullet. But let's put a little bit more um, finesse to it. So, like I said, the shortness in here and it sort of feathers and, and gradual, gradually gets longer to there, blends into these sides but a true mullet is shorter through here so I'm going to just scissor over comb this off through here, just take that edge off. Short, but you can see how that blends already. Same on the other side. So to get the connection between here and here a little bit more, you can see that there is a bit of layering through there. But what I want to do is grab the hair and then so we can see the guide, which is there. I'm just 
using the butt of our blade just to remove a bit of length, but you can see there's more texture there. So again, we come through, we find our guide, which is the short piece just there. Blending that in a little bit more now. So as we spin, we find the guide, which is there. And again, we must work this all the way around the head to the other side as well. So find the guide. And we'll start from this side. Find that guide there. So there's that back, just opened all that, added all that texture in there. And if you want to, make sure you see your guide. I'm going to go short through there again. This wants to blend a bit more. And there we have it, that is a mullet cut in four ponytails. Uh, just a little bit of refining. This is a bit of structure by Joico. Um, I love this just to spray in dry hair. It gives a really nice uh, texture, but also a bit of hold. Uh, but then once it dries off, you've got a really nice uh, texture to hair. And you can also manipulate it quite a bit. I love to use fingers and thumbs and really uh, just, put, just place the hair using boost. That is straight hillbilly, dude. <laughs> that is so hillbilly crazy, dude. <laughs> All right, man, let's go apply this to the world out there. All right, that's the illusion. Rockin' mullets!